Hello and welcome to Database Management Systems. I'm Jelita Christie, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you PLSQL loops. So let's begin. This is the structure of the most basic loop constructs, and this is the type of structure that the for loop and the while loop use in PLSQL. This basic loop statement consists of a loop keyword, a body of executable code, and the end loop keywords. The loop statement executes the statements in its body and then returns control to the top of the loop. Typically, the body of the loop contains at least one exit or exit when statement for terminating the loop. Otherwise, the loop becomes an infinite. The loop statement can have an optional label that appears at the beginning and the end of the statement. It is a good practice to use the loop statement when you want to execute the loop body at least once. And you are not sure the number of times you want to execute the loop. The exit statement allows you to unconditionally exit the current iteration of a loop. Typically, you use the exit statement with an if statement to terminate a loop when a condition is true. Let's understand this with a practical example. For a simple example of a loop statement, uh, we are going to see this um, program. So in this program, I'm just going to, first of all, write my declare block. And within the declare block, I'm again writing my program in Notepad, and then I'll copy it and paste it into um, SQL plus command line. So now I want to write, uh, make a variable called counter, and I'll give it the data type number, and I'll also initialize it to zero. Next, I'm going to write the begin section of my PLSQL block. Now, to start a loop in PLSQL, you need to write down loop. And then you need to, uh, within the loop, obviously, we need to either increase the counter or decrease the counter, whatever we like. So I'm going to increase the counter, for which I'm going to write counter equal to counter plus one. And then once that is done, I'm going to check the value of counter because I need to make sure that my loop is going to end at some point. So I'm going to write if this counter is greater than three, then I would like my code at this point to end. I would like my loop to end. So I'll write down here exit and also I will end the if condition which is there. And then, of course, I'm going to end the loop. But before that, I'd like to print uh, what exactly this is. So I'm going to print here what um, what the counter value is. So I'll write down dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. And I will mention whatever I want to print. So I want to print that right now, this is inside the loop and my counter value is this. So I'm going to use the concatenation operation and printing the counter here, close the bracket, semicolon. And once I'm done, I need to end the loop. So I will end the loop here. For that, you need to write down end the loop just like uh, we are writing end if. As you can see, whenever I'm beginning an if condition, I'm always also ending the if condition. So in the same way, when I'm beginning a loop, I'm also ending the loop. And just like that, I also need to end the begin block. But right before that, I just want to print um, what is the value of the counter once the loop is over. So I'm going to just write down after loop and concatenation 
and I will mention the counter variable here. And that's it. And my code is done. I'll just use end and pass the code. So let's go ahead and copy this. I'm going to copy it. And of course, we'll paste it in uh, SQL plus. Now, in this case, uh, it is important that because this is the first program you're writing after opening the command line, you will need to do set server output on. This will make sure that all the output statements that I've written are going to print something. And after that point, I'm going to paste it. And once it's pasted, hit enter forward slash. That's going to run the code. And so it says inside loop one, inside loop two, inside loop three, and then after loop four. So let's understand this a little bit. You can see uh, this is the code and this is the declare section. So in the declare section, I have initialized my counter to zero. Then inside from this part to this part is the loop. So within this loop, um, there's a counter variable which is getting incremented. So this is the same counter variable that's outside. It gets incremented. That means it is um, becoming, you know, one, two, three, and so on. So right now, initially it is zero, but then as soon as it enters the loop, it becomes one. So when it becomes one, this condition which is right below becomes false. And this condition is checked every time because it's a loop. And this exit statement that I have inside will make sure that my loop ends as soon as the counter becomes greater than three. So that's why when the counter is one, the loop doesn't end. It's going to print inside loop one. And then when the counter becomes two, again, it doesn't end, but it's going to print inside loop two. And when the counter becomes three, once again, if condition is still false, and so it prints inside loop three. But then the next time the loop executes, the counter statement is going to increment it and make it four. So this time, the if condition turns out to be false, and that is why the exit statement happens. Exit statement will not exit your entire program. It will exit the structure that it is inside. So right now it's inside a loop. So it's going to exit the loop. And once the loop is exited, it obviously comes to the end of the code. And before that, it's going to print after loop four because that was the last value of the counter when the loop actually exited. So this is how loops work in the LSQL. The exit one statement exits the current iteration of a loop when the condition in the when clause is true. Essentially, the exit one statement is a combination of an exit and an if then statement. Each time the control reaches the exit one statement, the condition is evaluated. If the condition evaluates to true, then the loop terminates. Otherwise, the exit when clause does nothing. Inside the loop body, you must make the condition true at some point to prevent an infinite loop. Let's see this with an example in PLSQ. Instead of using um, the exit statement as we did in our previous code, we could use exit when. So exit when as I said before, is a combination of the if and exit. So I can replace uh, this whole structure, this whole thing that I have here from if to end if with an exit statement, uh, with an exit when statement. So I'm going to do just that. And in this, it's the same code, just the statement is different. So let's delete this part and write down over here instead, exit when counter is greater than three. So it's as simple as that. You could replace those three lines with one single line. And this is what you get. Once that is done, you can copy this. And of course, you can paste it here. Let me quickly clear the screen and go to the topmost bar and click paste. 
hit enter and forward slash and you can see it prints uh, everything in the same way as before but i just replaced this whole if statement with an exit when statement so this is how you can use exit one statement in PLSQ. It is possible to nest a loop statement within another loop statement, as you will learn in the example that I'm going to show you now. To create a nested loop in PLSQL, I'm going to uh, first of all remove the code that I've written previously and of course keep the declare part and now i'm going to declare two variables the first uh, variable is the i variable so let's just it's just a random name so and i'm going to give it the data type number and initialize it to zero similar way i'm creating another variable j with the same data type same initial value and then I will begin the first statement. And here I'm going to write down loop. And within the loop, um, I will increment i. Uh, so i is equal to i plus 1. And if you're very much familiar with C language, then uh, you might make the mistake of simply writing I++, plus plus, but that does not work in PLSQL. So please uh, don't make that mistake. In PLSQL, you need to write the whole thing over here. And uh, once this is done, I need to do exit. I want to exit this loop at this point. So I'll write down exit when I greater than 2. And now I want to print the value of i. So I'll just uh, write the print statement, dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. And this is my outside counter that is giving me the value i. Okay. And now I'm going to begin my uh, next loop, which is the nested loop. But for this, I'm going to write, uh, before that, I'm going to uh, initialize j, which is actually already zero, but you could initialize it again here. Right now, it is re zero right now, but later on it will change its value. So let's just do it here. So j is equal to zero. And then, I'm writing another loop statement. Now, notice that I haven't yet ended my uh, loop statement, which I began earlier, but before even ending it, I've started another loop statement. So this is what nesting means. And now I'm going to uh, write, uh, I'm going to increment the J variable that I have. So it would be J is equal to J plus one. And so you can see here. And after that, I, of course, need to exit this loop also at some point. So I'm going to write down that I want to exit this when j is greater than 3. And then I also want to print what the value of j is at every point so in the inner counter whatever the value of j is that will get printed here and after that i will end this loop now this will only end the inner loop which is there to end the outer loop i need to write end loop once again and then i have to end the begin part that i started so that is ended here and once again, we will copy all of this and go to command line, uh, SQL plus command line. Clear the screen here, and then I'm going to paste. So, 
and you can see it's pasted. And now what all I'm going to do is use a forward slash, hit enter, and this is the data that gets uh, printed. So let's uh, take a look at it. Why why exactly it's printing this? We'll try to understand that once. So as you can see, this is this is my code. And within my code, you can see I have written the declare part and the begin part and end. So in the de declaration part, I have declared two variables, i and j. And then in the loop, I have declared the i variable, which I have simply incremented. And um, every this is going to exit when i is greater than 2. So the value of i will be 1 and the value of i will be 2. As you can see in the output here, the outer counter prints one and it prints two and that's all. So that is the state, uh, the outer counter is printed because of the statement given here that, that prints the outer counter and the value of i. And j is initialized to zero and then the loop is started. So this is the loop structure once again and in it, j is incremented every time and this loop is exiting when j becomes greater than 3. That means the value of j will go, uh, will become 1, 2, and 3, but not 4. And every time the value of j is printed as inner counter value of j. So that's why we can see value of j being 1, 2, 3 every time. As you can see here, inner counter is printing um, 1, 2, 3. And once again, in a counter is printing one, two, three. And before that, the outer counter prints one, and here the outer counter prints two. So, this is how you can nest one loop inside another loop in PLSQL. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.